everyone. Well, hello. Uh, Welcome there back. We go. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, thank goodness. Well, thank you, Kev. if you couldn't pinpoint the sound, it is Kevin of Kevin and Chris from 98.7 The Dove. However, he's flying solo today because yeah. Chris Luzader's on vacation. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm so lonely here in the studio <laughs> all by myself. But, you know, although I did get to see her yesterday uh, out at Wonders of Wildlife. We, uh, she came out to... Uh, Made a little appearance, you know, but uh, I had a vacation a couple of weeks ago, and now she's off this week, deservedly so. Kevin, I got to tell you, I was so pleasantly surprised. I was shooting at Wonders of Wildlife. Inside, I walk out the door, and who's there doing a live remote but Kevin and Chris outside? I was yeah. like, my friends are here. <laughs> my friends. Yeah. It was great. Yeah, I know. We were great. It was good to see you, too, man. And, uh, you know, Shark Week down there at Wonders of Wildlife, I know. You guys were talking about it, and uh, have you guys ever done the the shark dive experience? Maddie did. Kevin, I just did like two weeks ago. It was the coolest thing ever because it's been on my bucket list. Yeah, yeah, I got to do it as well. And and yeah, let me ask you something. When you went down there, like at first I was a little you know nervous, yeah. but once I got down there, it was so peaceful and serene and like quiet. You had that big helmet, and you're down there, and you're weightless and. Uh, the sharks and, and all the animals are just cruising. It was very peaceful. It was so peaceful. And you kind of forget, like, once you're submerged in water, you know, you're not hearing the outside noise. And you can go right. to a place of zen. I, too, got a little anxious when I first went down in the helmet. I was like, okay, huh, learn, remember how to breathe. And it's super easy when you're in the helmet. Right. You breathe normally. So, yeah, it was super cool. We had one shark that kept coming up to the cage and then doing a quick, like, pivot. Yeah, yeah, I know. It, it, was, it was a lot of fun. And luckily, those sharks there at Wonders of Wildlife are well-fed. Yeah. So they weren't hungry for me. Uh, you know, it, it, was, it was, it's a great time. We, I think everybody should try it. Uh -huh. awesome. So, Kev, you just said they're well-fed. Speaking of food, you mentioned to us earlier, you texted me, and you said you're talking about French fries. What do you mean? For, what's, what's going on with French fries? Well, that happens to be National French Fry Day, guys. Come <gasps> on. Oh, how did we miss this? We would have made I don't French know. fries. Oh my gosh. You know, I would like to tell everyone to celebrate this day responsibly. You know what <laughs> I mean? Yes. Because <laughs> you can overdo it with the fries. Okay, but, uh, then here's a question for you then. What is your favorite kind of French fry? Because there's several different fries. There's Texas, there's the thick cut, there's the crinkle, there's this curly. The steak fries. Steak fry, yeah. Smiley fries. Sweet. Don't forget the sweet potato fry. Oh, know? sweet pot fries, yes. Ooh, I, I have never, I've, I've never met a French fry that I didn't like uh, ever, and but I think I'm probably partial. I do like a crinkle cut. That's I'm gonna my say. fave. That takes me back to yeah. childhood. Yeah, I have to yeah. say though, waffle fries. Oh, waffle fries. Waffle Ooh. fries. Yep. So those Kev, are pretty good too. Can I ask yeah. you? You've been to this place. Maddie and I were in Branson on Monday. Monday, right? Yes. On Monday, and we passed by Billy Bob's Dairyland in, uh, oh. in Branson. To me, they yeah. have the best crinkle-cut fries with ketchup I've ever had, that type of fry. Yes. Yeah, well, you know, and I haven't been there, but I've heard about that place, and I know they're well-known for their, their delicious food. Uh, but, yeah, crinkle-cut and any kind of spice on it, I like just salt and ketchup, but, you know, some places will put some different cool spices or have some uh, uh, different kind of sauces, you, you know. I love the Lowry seasoned salt. Oh, yeah. Me? That Mm-hmm. Matt, let me tell you something, Maddie. That uh, since I was a kid, I've had that in my cupboard. My mom did, and I do, and I put it on everything. I love that on fries, on on tots. Don't forget about the uh, the the cousin to the French fry, fries. the tater tot. Can you? you know, know, can I tell you how weird I am with fries, though? Here's here's my thing with fries. If I have a crinkle cut fry, like at Billy Bob's Dairyland, I dip it in ketchup. Okay. My other favorite fry is McDonald's French fries. I love them, but guess what? I have to eat them plain, no ketchup. Just Me salt too. and McDonald's fries. Then on the flip side, Plastic. if you've ever been to Jack in the Box, they have seasoned curly fries. Ooh. I dip the seasoned curly fries in sweet and sour sauce. There, I said it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I've said it. You are crazy. I'm crazy. Gosh, calm down. I Jerry. know. I'm excited and the hungry way, right now. The way you eat your French fries is very much like your personality in the morning. I never know. You never know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I yeah. No, I... I I agree with you on the Mickey, Mickey D's fries. I don't put anything on them, no. but, uh, you know, but ketchup on every other kind. Here's a question that I must know the answer to. How do you reheat fries? Microwave, mm -mm. oven, mm -mm. air fryer, yeah. or do you fry, refry them? How, fry. what's your, what's your go-to? Well, uh, air frying is best since I got that little air fryer. That's the only way I can 
that they taste good. You know, microwave ruins them. By the way, air fryers are great because I never used to keep the Taco Bell crunchy tacos for leftovers until my air fryer because yeah. you can get them crispy again. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's the only way to go, Maddie. Only way to go. All right. Well, now I know, so I can. I'm going to get fries today. I don't know about you. I'm. I'm indulging. And by the way. We should. After, after your blood after work. After my blood work. <laughs> I have to fast right now, so I'm, I'm miserable right now until my blood work. Um, by the way, yeah. we were celebrating National Mac and Cheese Day is on Sunday, Kev, and Maddie and oh. I ate some mac and cheese. Do you have a favorite mac and cheese that you go to? Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. I mean, come on, Kraft, you know? I mean, that's that's a staple also. It's right up there with my Lowry season salt. But uh, but I do I, – have you guys – what is – who makes that uh, mac and cheese? It's uh, – She's a uh, soul singer, Patty LaBelle. Patty LaBelle. Yes. Patty LaBelle. Excuse yeah. me. Yes. Yeah, and and she makes a good frozen uh, mac and cheese. I'm We're gonna check you. that out, Kev. Well, and well. she makes a great sweet potato pie for the holidays. Patty, yeah. come on, yeah. Patty. Yeah. Hey, Kev. Kev it's so to great see to see you. We'll see you and Chris back together next week. I'm so hungry. See, I thank you. <laughs> Bye, Kev. Bye, Kev. <laughs> All right, you guys. We'll be back with Precision Wellness for some yoga right after this. Do you remember this? Patty! 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 Come, Come on, on Patty, with the, Patty with the pies! Come on, Patty! <laughs>